hello guys welcome back let's uh, explore these tools here in the photoshop which are basically related to the patch but these are like primitive shapes which will allow you to give uh, allow you to control the shapes after you have created so starting with uh, the rectangle so rectangle uh, when i choose it's giving you options like shape path and pixels so when i uh, take the shape just click and drag it so you got uh, the rectangular shape which is filled with red color which you can change and then you have stroke options which uh, again uh, whenever you pick uh, the shape here there are different types of uh, filling methods like you don't want to fill it or you want to fill it with a solid color or you want to fill it with a gradient color or you want to fill it with a pattern so you can choose that from these four options there okay so i'm just choosing a solid color very similarly i can choose for the gradiency and i can choose what gradient i want and also i can increase the thickness of it so when you have uh, created this rectangle here okay uh, you have this uh, settings option which is uh, one thing is con unconstrained which means when you click and drag the resultant uh, shape is you know having a free uh, width and height I mean I can just as my cursor is going on you're getting a rectangle which is having too much wide or too much height or maybe anything it's it's free basically uh, if I choose the square, whenever I'm dragging, the resultant uh, shape is in square shape. Uh, if you are in the unconstrained mode, and then when you hold shift, you get the rectangle. Generally, it's like free like this. But you hold shift, it gives you the uh, square shape, okay? And one thing you should know that while you're drawing this, okay? Okay, while you're drawing this, if you hold shift, you got the square. And then when you hold space you can actually make it move and then place it anywhere you want it like you want to place it on this corner and to place it on this corner you can do that okay generally if I click and drag if I release my mouse I exit and complete the action but you want to move it you need to hold space and then do that like that okay so when you're uh, drawing this uh, a rectangle if I start clicking from this uh, guide intersection and drag it I am creating my shape from this point down uh, as I'm dragging it but when I'm clicking there and dragging it and if I hold alt now the drag is actually expanding from that point outside okay and that point becomes the center of the shape let's say if I want to create a circle precisely here and let's say I am taking a circular shape and then when I click and drag it the shape is not in the center okay so what I am going to do is uh, I am going to click at that particular point and then when I am dragging it I hold alt and then that comes uh, you know in the center like that so uh, when I am in the rectangle tool here if I just click in the canvas it will allow you to set the size and width here so let me choose uh, this uh, value to 300 by 600 pixels and when i say okay you get a, a, a rectangle which is of that but that size okay and uh, if i just uh, click there and you have an option called from center okay so what that actually means is if i'm clicking and dragging here the the start of this rectangle is here and it's creating downwards like that but when i choose the center option then I click and drag it so that becomes a center and it's going outward and it's sim very similar to like uh, what we were doing with our click and drag and then hold alt and it's giving me the same result there and then we have this option called fixed size where i can enter uh, 600 pixels by 250 pixels and then when I hit enter ok 
okay so just click there and you get that size and then we have a proportional which is going to give me a ratio of uh, 3 is to 1 as you could see just click and drag it so the ratio of this is minted as 1 unit by 3 units like that so we have uh, the same option the center option which we which we can enable and then it uh, wherever you click that point and you start dragging it that becomes the center point so we have all these options for the rectangle so i'm selecting this uh, uh, shape with the path selection tool still uh, you get that options uh, here i mean when you have drawn if you have exited the tool there is no problem come to the path selection tool and you should be able to see the options working for you so you have uh, the width option maybe you can choose different types of paths here whatever you have and uh, if you could see uh, in the properties section we have the width option where you can increase the width and you can uh, control this width and height and both the options uh, tab or you can choose from the properties panel there and then we have uh, um, the stroke to be uh, a center or should be in the inside or outside of the stroke you have a round corner stroke which is suitable for open paths not the closed one and then you have uh, the the side corners here okay so i'm just choosing this one and uh, you can change it to this one or this one these are the types of uh, corners what we have apart from that you can also select uh, this option here which is going to make your uh, uh, rectangle into a rounded corner shape and uh, if you feel that uh, you, do, you don't want to control this uh, round corner all sides at a time you can unlock this I can and you can choose uh, 10 pixels and 10 pixels on the opposite side and 250 250 on this side and create that unique shape there and uh, if you have multiple paths you can make uh, add selection subtract selection things working for you so let me drag it and then you can choose the subtraction or intersection or um, overlapping shapes okay so uh, these are all options you have and uh, you can uh, hold this and uh, while moving if you uh, like while you're moving it if you hold shift it will be constrained in the width or you can constrain with the height also it doesn't come so that can be done so we have uh, this shape here which is uh, now a rectangle shape which has got all the options here now let's say if i use a direct selection or path selection tool sorry direct selection tool if i select it let's say if i select uh, using the direct selection tool and then hold that point and move it you get a, a warning or a message saying that so far this was a rectangle shape where you have all the properties of this rectangle which can be controlled like a primitive now this is not going to be primitive anymore this is going to convert into a normal path so if you wanted it to convert just say yes and then you should able to see the options are gone now this is no more a rectangle for you you can control them just like any other path and this option is right now giving you options which generally we see for a, a normal path okay so that is what uh, this rectangle tool is about